seal or a different seal from that of rule of say we scour the record my lord um, which which covers the uh, the 24th and the 25th we couldn't find um, any reference um, to this evidence by captain charlie if maybe council can um, direct the court to the, the specific portion of the evidence <coughs> Check Charlie's evidence, sir. Yes, Captain Charlie's evidence. You checked it. Yes, the 24th and the yeah. and, 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 and the 25th. Yes, Mr. Uh, Nisi. As it please the court, my lord. Did you hear what your colleague is saying? I'm a bit amazed because I'm still um. Um, the witness is still under cross-examination. I don't know whether that was an objection or what. what was, what so um, then all of a sudden expected to answer to the state. I'm not answerable to the state. What is yes. your comment? It, it, why, is, why the comment? No, we said yesterday before we adjourned, we raised an objection. Okay. And, you know, we just merely um, elaborating on the objection that we raised yesterday, that we put in record, that... Um, there's no proposition, my lord. There's no support in the in the record for the proposition by counsel that Charlie testify that um, this firearm, which was <coughs> destined for destruction, was he sealed it in his um, in, in 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 a different seal from that of uh, Warren Officer Rulofsen. That, that, that is the uh, objection that we raised. That's a <coughs> evidence of Charlie's page what? Sorry. The evidence of Charlie is encapsulated on page one uh, of, it's of a, the record. It's uh, on the 25th. 25th and 25th. 24th and 25th. And 25th August. August. Yes. Okay, fine. Yes, let's well, go. The council says it's not answerable to us, we understand, but we, we are saying. Um, it's, 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 it's a wrong proposition that is put into the witness. <coughs> if, um, if, if, if he can support that by reference to the relevant passage in the, in the, um, in the record, um, th th that would be then an entirely different matter. Yeah, he says it's not uh, answerable to the state. Yes, yes ma'am. So can, can you go, Mr. Charlie? I mean, uh, Nisi, I've made note of that. Yes, yeah. and over and above that, my lord, I want to also address this with the following. Proceedings are conducted in terms of the rules of, of, the, of, of the High Court. And Rule 38 does not make a provision that each time an assertion is made to a witness that must be cross-referenced to a particular record. That rule does not make that provision. If the state is unhappy with the assertion that I've put, then they can raise that in argument and specifically refer the court during argument to that portion that they say or that they think does not uh, uh, um, support my assertion. But I'm not obliged, in terms of the rules of the High Court, to keep on referring the court to a particular um, uh, uh, page or a date on the record on which that evidence is coming from. And I'm basing that on, and, and, and the reason why I'm saying I'm not answerable to the state, I'm basing that on what the rules are saying. Lord, the rules of cross-examination are very clear and succinct. Mm -hmm. If you make a proposition to a witness, it must be correct. And we are saying that proposition is not correct. So if counsel contends that is correct, then he must show that um, it is found on a, on a, on a particular um, <coughs> portion of the record. That's why we have the record. But we're saying he cannot put or continue along that cross-examination if we have raised an objection and he cannot demonstrate that um, his assertion is correct. That's, that's the simple rules of cross-examination. Yes, yeah, what right. the state also forgets is that it depends upon the court. If the court makes a ruling on whether or not I can proceed with that line of questioning, then if the court says yes, proceed, I may proceed, or I can proceed. If the court says no, you shouldn't proceed, then I won't proceed. 
Yeah, proceed, Nissen. Nissen. Thank you, my lord. Now, say yesterday, I did not get your answer very clear. I think it was because of the interruption which I experienced when I wanted to know the reason why you decided to take that bag which was containing this firearm, despite the fact that it had a broken seal when you had earlier on testified that you would not receive a bag with a broken seal. I did not get your reason. Can you please repeat it if you did? Yes, all of us in Guzelo, what you will tell us, tell us, let us come up. Ever so soon, you go to Guzelo, to say, you will take me in and some gay, you come, Mrs. Woody. My Lord, the reason why I exhibit a brought to the lab being in seal bag is to contain or to maintain the chain of evidence from where the firearm was collected or from where it was collected, the I.O. or the LCRC memo will put it in a seal bag and send it to the lab so that there's no tampering with the exhibit all the way. Now, in this instance, the firearm is under police custody. It's at the SAP 13. So preventing the contamination, what contamination will it be? I went there to uh, uh, sign for it from the SAP 13. It was not sealed. I booked it out, not sealed. If the police officer goes to the SAP in any other maybe investigating office, they will also find the firearms not sealed. They will seal it and then send it to the net. So I went to fetch it. Why must I seal it so that I can open it again? If I receive it from the SAP in it's not sealed. If they repeat, uh, they receive them from the SAP in also, they are not sealed. They are the ones who seal it. So why would the SAP in clerk seal it? I don't see the reason why must they seal those firearms. Are you asking me those questions? I'm answering the question. This is Pam, this is the same question, and then this is Katiga, this is Jola, this is the food. I think this is absolutely pending. This is for this Pamini, this is for this, this is the same thing, this is the same thing, this is the food. So I suppose this is absolutely when they do. Let me make my question very clear again. In your testimony, you have asked you pertinently about the situation of a bag which has got a broken seal that contains an exhibit that is sent to the forensic science laboratory to the ballistic section thereof. Then you specifically said no, you would not even accept it. Now, why did you accept or take this exhibit to the forensic science laboratory when you could see that the seal there offers broken? That's my simple question, Spe specifically this firearm. Is all on the Bozile, one pendula, Umbozo Boti, Oma, will a trans karma, as a sieve would they were gaining an insurrection or so soon as a sum gainless or squam. My Jagger Lana would to start in the squam as a so full day. If Muboza would to job suckers, there would hands some gaily for me for you, unless it was some gaily rancher. But the original case of that firearm was finalized. So the firearm was distant for, dist for, for destruction. So there was no need for them to seal it. When I received it, it was not sealed. And I understand why it was not sealed. So if it was maybe the I.O. who collected it to send it to us, he will collect it unsealed, and then he will seal it and send it to us. It is it is So, so the reason why you specifically took this firearm is because you would see no reason why it should have been seen again because it was designed for destruct for your destruction. That is your reason. So take away now. This is that to so tattered which is the supermission of a little wood was actually you does this in such a lady. Sorry before you answer there. You said interpreted you 
forgot to mention that this witness says the Cleveland case was finalized. You forgot to mention that. <coughs> I did mention it. No, you did mention it. Yes. Okay, no problem. If you did, no problem. I don't, I don't see the reason why the SAP Dating Club will have to seal the firearm if it's this distant for destruction. I am going to see that so good to explain this fire is quite this bomb they see a superman go go to the CCO shot at that Yeah. So without laboring this point, I'm going to put it to you that uh, Mr. Mujali came and told this court that he would also not accept an exhibit that is not sealed in his possession. So in other words, when he took over this exhibit from those that he, 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 he received from, he made it a point that it is sealed, and it has been sealed according to him when he received it. When you received it, all of a sudden the seal is broken. If there's an objection, we submit that there's no obligation on this witness to answer to, to that proposition as it doesn't accord with the evidence that is on record of Captain Charlie. <coughs> I'll come and demonstrate, my lord, what Mr. Mchali said. But nonetheless, let me proceed. I'm just, on this point, I'm putting it in abeyance. I'll, 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 I'll come and proceed on it. Because I specifically want to demonstrate that what I'm putting across this witness, I'm not thumb sucking it. It's there, that's what Mr. Mchali said. Yeah. Thank you. Now, you said the reason for the ceiling, just some three minutes ago, the reason for the ceiling of a bag is because it's to, it's to, it's to, to avoid the contamination and the tempering. And um, there's just no reason why the SAP 13 should reseal a, a, an exhibit bag. That's amongst others what you said, not so. Also, what is but I said I do not see the reason why the SAP 13 club would have to seal the firearm that the case has been finalized and the firearm has been distant for destruction. Now say, back to your version. You're saying on the 20th, you went to Cleveland and received this firearm in a bag which had a broken seal. That's correct, my lord. Thank you. Now, and you found that bag in a broken seal. Uh, you found the fire arm in a bag which the seal thereof was broken. That's correct, my lord. Thank you. Is it normal? Is it procedure with regard to the handling of firearm exhibits to put them in a in a seal bag and then thereafter person then says it's I've got no obligation to seal this bag although there's a firearm inside. Uh, in other words, 
why would a firearm be put in a seal bag, and in a forensic bag, and the seal thereof be left opened? Well, the case was finalized. The firearm was collected from the lab in a sealed evidence bag. It went back to the SAPT. I cannot speak for the SAPT. It might be because they were changing it from is there from SAP 13 or maybe they were doing inspection. If you are doing inspection of a firearm that is in a sealed bag and the firearm is, the, the, the case is finalized, you'll open the bag to confirm that this is the right firearm. So it might be that they opened the bag because they were doing inspection or something. So I cannot speak for them. Why, why did they open mm. the bag? Now you can immediately hear yourself speaking. You say maybe, maybe you can't speak for themselves. You also, you also don't know what happened. So, so your answer is just a speculative hypothesis. So. But the question asked me is why did I receive it in the open bag? Why the bag was open? I don't know who opened the bag and I don't know what the, was the reason why they opened the bag. Most of the beginning of the summer, the school was in the village. I was in the village. I was in the village. I was in the village. Thank you. That is the point. You don't know who opened the bag. You don't know why the, the, the bag there was sealed at the forensic science laboratory when it arrived at SAP 13 got broken. For what purpose was it broken? What happened after it got broken? How was the firearm handled immediately after the seal was broken? All those things you don't know them, not so. Awasi, uguti ubano afulale si squama. Awasi uguti yin indaba le si squama si piti tetin sa si vulegile. Awasi uguti wago yin indaba le si uguti si vulele squama. Awasi uguti le si spama sa patu aranjani. That's correct, Mot. I don't know how it's open. Yeah, but we shall have to serve the answer. Thank you. And you also don't know in whose hand this firearm landed after the seal pack thereof was broken. But I was with this act, and I see figure is under this garbage, and this is permanent for what is the dinner is it again. I don't know. I am glad to Thank you. Now, against this background that you do not know, would you still say that the sanctity, the sanctity of the preservation of this firearm was guaranteed or was preserved? Uh, well, the case of that firearm was finalized, so there was no need to keep the 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 the, 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 the chain of custody proper if it's in the SAP thirteen and it's distant for destruction. That's not my question, sir. My question is, on the basis of the fact that you said there are a lot of things that you do not know relating to the handling of the firearm, why was it broken, when was it broken, for what purpose, in whose hand did it land? Against that background that you do not know, as a forensic expert, a ballistic forensic, a ballistic expert, would you then stand there with a straight face and say, the sanctity of the preservation of this 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 firearm was still clear? Uh, 
I don't know, man. Thank you. Done now. Now, thank you, sir. When exhibits are brought to the firearm, no, 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 no. The forensic sites are what I am sorry. A firearm, let us narrow our, 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 our conversation to the forensic science laboratory, the ballistic section. When exhibits brought to the ballistic section, somebody bringing it, what is the procedure? I'm not going to say that the forensic science laboratory will set into answer. But when the exhibits are brought to the lab, yes, it's either by the I.O. or by the L.C.R.C., they will bring the lab to the, lab, the, the exhibits to the lab, <coughs> seal the yes, evidence back, and they put them at the case reception where they receive the firearm or yes. the exhibits. Yes. They book it in the, on the system and then distend it to the specific section where it's going. Okay. Uh, Oh, I'm saying LCRC, what, 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 what is it that is being done to to acknowledge the receipt of the firearm? For instance, an investigating officer takes in a firearm. What is it that the would be a proof that is admitted a firearm to the forensic science laboratory? <laughs> If it's the I.O. or the LCRC, you will receive it's either a copy or a slip that shows that the firearm has been handed in at the case reception. Right. Would that be the acknowledgement of receipt of the firearm? By the forensic site laboratory. That's correct. The receipt will be an acknowledgement of receipt. Thank you. Now you went to Cleveland, fetched the firearm, took it to the forensic science laboratory, the ballistic section thereof. Did you follow that pro procedure as well? When I was, was, was in a, so, sorry. Was an acknowledgement of receipt also issued to you when you arrived to the firearm? Uh, I believe I clearly blend all on this palm ways and I saw the mass of fear and I saw spam lap here. A book on any ways, what it was, so good in a fellow who win as this is palm and who land the lady in the always one. I'm a more to love this palm. The little city, a little where the body were in. Well, it's a different case. It's not brought by an investigating officer. It's not brought by, brought by, I went to sign for it so that I can shoot the test. The firearm was already finalized at the lab. So for me to go and fetch it, it should do a, just a re-examination of the test on the same firearm. So there was no need for me to book it in at the, at the case reception and book it out again. I think I to the system and it was not registered as a new case because I was already handling the case. And putting as long as Pali is in general, Elisha, and what we have just mentioned, say, that the case specifically for which this firearm was brought to the Forensic Science Laboratory was finalized. It was closed. It was designed for destruction, for tweetersly allegations, allegedly, for tweetersly 
then you stumble across something that you wanted to, 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 to match with the firearm. So the firearm, when it went out of the forensic science laboratory, it was only understanding that the case for which it was initially brought to the forensic science laboratory, it was finalized. So when it had to come for the second time, it had to come as a new exhibit. I'm not so sure whether I was too long. Okay, thank you. But, uh, Umage, this is Pam, this is Siletra, Siletra, like I was saying, Pam, this is Shajala Liso, or AKC, this is Pedi. What are you saying, Siletra, like I, 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 Yes. So why was it then not registered with the administrative section of the ballistic laboratory? When I went to fetch it, the firearm was at the lab. Shot the test were fired in the firearm, but the tests were not sufficient mm. or for comparison or not. <coughs> good enough for the competitor that I wanted. So when I went to fetch it at Cleveland, I went to fetch it under the same case number of, of Cleveland, and I came back with it, still in my custody, not sent by anybody, but still in my custody. <laughs> But say, is it not so that an instrument that gets into the premises of the laboratory, the laboratory needs to account through the administrative section that at this moment in time, these are the type of instrument that are in our possession. Is that not? Is that should that not be the case? Can't I wish I do? You know, to my book, what you call that in the Miss Elector M. Ella Poretti. Ella Poretti, if I never even know who's Pendulella, what he Nancy is nine movies or a corner, a sea pet, a pedal poretti, was the routine and movies a M. Gagila Pella Poretti. No, my lord, if okay. there was a new case registered under it, then I would expect it to be handed in that process. But there was no new case open on that case. Okay. Okay. I will not want to leave at this point, sir. I will leave it for arguments. Thank you. But I'm putting it to you that the procedure which you followed as an expert on the acquisition of the firearm from Cleveland into the premises of the forensic science laboratory, the ballistic section thereof, was very irregular. Uh, and so in No, my lord, it was not irregular. It was regular because the firearm was there and was willing to shoot the test. Thank you. There is another exercise that I wanted us to embark upon, sir. Unfortunately, I need to inquire from the state through the court of court, my lord. My lord, I think it's almost two weeks. Um, if my memory serves me well, it could be last week, Monday, I just can't remember the date well. I requested the state um, because there was 
a, a technician that was working on the uploading of certain photos on the on the on the system there. Then I requested the state to assist me because that would form part of my cross examination <coughs> to Lieutenant Colonel to upload certain photos onto the system. I am not so sure, and I specifically showed them what photos would I have requested to be loaded into the system. So I'm not so sure whether those photos were loaded. And I specifically indicated to them the format in which those photos need to be loaded into the system. And the technician who was there, he said, no, that is quite possible. And then I left it there. I'm not so sure whether that has been done because that is going to constitute my next segment of my cross-examination. Thank you. Yeah, when we went through the database, we couldn't find those, uh, those uh, specific photos, but we, we do have a complete uh, digitized uh, photo album of uh, Colonel Nshasho. Um, I don't know if council wants to use any of those photos, um, we'll be able to show them on the screen. Yes, I did not get that, Mala. You're saying the photos which the state has in possession of, they are in digital form. And Colonel Mshantla, Yes, Colonel yeah, is the person who digitalized them. Yes, we also have digitized photos of uh, the photo album of uh, Colonel Mangena. Yes, that's what the response you, is. Those are the photos that I actually requested that they should be loaded into the system. Um, um, I didn't ask that whether they are digitalized photos or what. I specifically requested and directed them to specific photos to be loaded into the system because that is going to constitute my next segment. Uh, the next segment of my cross-examination to this witness. And it was never indicated to me that that's, that won't be possible. But from the weight of the technician that the state was working with, that was quite possible. It was actually a five-minute thing, even lesser. I inquired with the state, uh, I think it was on Monday, whether that has been done. I can't remember the answer that I got, man. Can we just have the photos, Malot, so that we can just reach it again? Like the, the uh, thank you. I can tell them the photo numbers. I can give them the photo numbers. On the photo album of uh, in Exhibit 13A, which is the affidavit of Lieutenant Colonel Mangena, being the reconstruction of the scene, I refer to them to photo number two, 12, yes. Actually, to two photos, it's 12 and 8. Yes, it was 12 and 8. 12 will do because it seems to be more visible. And then on Lieutenant Colonel, on Warren <coughs> Officer Mushato's photo album, I refer to them to photo number 19. Yes. I refer them to photo number 19. <coughs> yes, Mr. Baloney. Yes. Our we are able to bring them through your yes, digitalized our uh, equipment. Yes, our laptop is just frozen. <laughs> Can you just take a five minute break? Mm -hmm. just, apparently, it's now up and running.
is the court, my lord? We, we, we are identifying some sort of a discrepancy in respect of the photo album that um, in Exhibit 13, uh, 13A, yes, there's a bit of a discrepancy there. The copyright I have was actually commissioned by Solomon K. Morisane on the 5th of November 2014, while the copy that Advocate Mumano has was commissioned by somebody different on a different date. Now, we don't know. We, 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 maybe the state can just explain which copy is it that should actually be used. Yes, Mr. Baruch. The exhibits that we have that council wants to refer to, which is exhibit X13 in brackets A, mm. the affidavit <coughs> of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mangena, consists of the photos of the scene as well as uh, photos taken at the Moshori. It was commissioned on the 5th of November 2014 by Lieutenant Colonel Solomon Modisani. Yes, the state is repeating exactly what I've said, Manu, but that does not seem to assist us because I'm saying my colleague that is seated next to me here, Advocate Numan, has his copy commissioned on the 5th of July 2017. Yes. Now, the one that I have is commissioned by, is commissioned on the 5th of November 2014. That The, 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 there's a lot of discrepancies in this in this affidavit, my lord. So I don't know now if I'm going to proceed on which affidavit must I then proceed on. The one that is in because both of them are from the state. The one that is in possession of my colleague advocate Numalo or the one that is in my possession. Well, I don't know why we should have this debate. Uh, Council is in possession of the affidavit dated 5 November 2014. That's the one that he should proceed on. Um, all council were given the same exhibits, and this is the exhibit <coughs> that was marked Exhibit 13A. Um, all of them should have the same exhibit, and that is the exhibit that he should proceed on. The state does not seem to understand the gist of and the imperative of what is happening here, madam. I cannot proceed on a document simply because the state says I must proceed on. This is an affidavit. It's something that was made under oath, my lord. Yeah, but Mr. Baloy says you can proceed on. Uh, but that is the problem. If I proceed on the one that I have. Which is, which is one? It was commissioned on the, the one he says you can proceed on is the one commissioned on the 5th of November. 2014. But then the state does not explain that discrepancy, my lord. What, what discrepancy? The is discrepancy it? that mine is commissioned on a different date and the one that is in possession of my colleague here is commissioned on a different date. And so, the, the, the contents have, are not the same. Yes, can you just have the document that Advocate Numalo says is called? Because it doesn't say, it is It is the document that it, says that. It's sorry, not sorry. The document. Mr. Badoy, did you supply that document from? To Mr. Yeah. Numan. <coughs> I just want to have a look at it. It's exactly the same exhibit, my lord. Exactly the uh, the same photo. I think what might have happened is perhaps the last page. <coughs> uh, 
on, on, on which the um, affidavit was commissioned could have been attached by a different page, could have been attached one, but the content is exactly the same. So the two documents are similar? Yes, exactly the same. My Lord, as I said, there were different teams which are investigating this. The yeah. original is the one that was signed on the 5th of November. November. That is in the docket. So at one stage, some of the investigating officers came to my office. They were requesting for it. I said, it's in the docket. They said, we don't have that docket. Can you just give us an analysis and then, then sign it on this day so that we have it? It might be one of those reports. So the one of, which was commissioned on the 5th of July. On the 5th of July. November. Oh, sorry, on the 5th of November, fine. And then subsequently, the, some of the investigating officers came seeking a... Looking for the affidavit. Affidavit, they said they want the affidavit. And I told them that it's in the docket, but they said they can't find the docket because there were different teams which were It might be because of, on that day they came, I could have signed maybe another docket for them to, just for them to so you made two affidavits? Yeah, they say it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, okay, let's proceed, Mr. Manisi. They say those documents are the same. It's the same document, duplicated. These documents are not the same, Okay. And I'm going to implore the state to come up very openly. These documents are not the same. I'm going to give Just the kids. state these documents, both of them, so that the state can go through these documents and make up their minds. I'll give Advocate Numalo my copy. Um, he can my colleague, so that, he, 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 that does not how it works, my lord. That, this is not how it works. We just don't throw things around here. We, we're working on a base of explanations here. What happened? If it needs be, then there could be a trial within a trial in respect of this document. But it does not work like I just give Advocate Numalo my copy so he can work on it. It does not work out like that. Otherwise, that is it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a strict procedure. Which document did you receive? Which document did you yourself receive? Who? You. I received Exhibit 13A, my name. Exhibit X 13A. Which was commissioned on? which was commissioned on the 5th of November, 2014. Okay. The deponent to this document, which is commissioned on the 5th of October, 2014, is who? It's Captain, I don't see. Is I, that? I can't see, I can't read. Oh, it's, it's, it's Captain Simangen. Mangena, yeah, fine. No, it's Captain. Captain Mangena? Yes. Is there somebody like that? It's me, man. Oh, okay, fine. And then the other document, which you say you don't understand why it's there, is it commissioned on the 5th of July, 2017? The state took it, my lord. Yeah, yeah, but is it commissioned on the 5th of July, 2017? Yes. Yeah. 2017. I don't know what the date is. The state is in possession of that document. Which date was it commissioned on that document? It's July 2017. Yeah, 5th July 2017. And who's the deponent in that document? The deponent is um, Colonel Mangela, Lieutenant Colonel Mangela. Yeah, okay. It consists of exactly 22 pages, just <coughs> as with the other documents. <coughs> so as the witness has just explained, the only difference is the, um, the commissioning part, but it's exactly the same. Okay, yeah, let's go on, Mr. Say that those, those two documents are in fact one document. I did not get that, my 
No, I, so you can continue. Oh, okay, no. Thank you, thank you, Madam. If the court is ruling that this document constitutes one document, then I don't know. Yeah, problem. they say so. We've checked it page for page, man. Page for page. Exactly. Same, same document. document. Except it just fits in maybe with the explanation the panel <coughs> has given that uh, a second similar statement was made because the initial one was not traceable at that stage. That's correct, Madam. Yeah. If, yeah, let's go on. Because Thank you, Madam. It's one document. Thank you, Madam. If there, is, there are any differences, cross examine on both documents because here's the witness. Thank you, Madam. Right on. Um, may I then be assisted with those photos? Now, what I requested, my lord, is that those photos should be beamed side by side. In other words, they must stand parallel. I don't know if the state will be in a position to do that, but the technician that was assisting them that other day said, no, that is very simple, you could do it. Photo number 12. Just a second. Musia's photo album is photo number 19. Uh, 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 Mushatu, not Musia, Mushatu's photo album, photo number 19. So this photo, are you saying it was taken by Warrant Officer Mustafa? Madam, I'm not so sure whether the state is doing what I requested them to do because they are only filming one photo and then they are keeping quiet. I'm not so sure whether they are still trying to get the other one that I said should also be beamed side or oh, oh, on the side of this. Is it possible to beam both of those photos? Maybe if we take the shorter gentleman at this stage, Monod, let's see if we 
think you'll get uh, the technician to do that or not. What's the time? It's uh, 4 minutes to 11. We can zoom at uh, quarter past 11. Okay. Again, until quarter past 11.